Hi, let me show you some code. Invoking a function binds variables to values. The simplest and mathematical way is to bind the first variable to the first value, the second variable to the second value, etc. etc. We saw that the dot 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 token allows the last variable to be bound to an array, gathering the remaining values. But it's also possible to destructure a value, an object, and extract parts of it. In this example, function f1 and f2 are equivalent. f2 is just a very compact form of f1. And I must admit that the first time you see it, it's mind puzzling. When the list of variables of a function contain what appears to be an object surrounded by curly brackets, the value must be an object with at least the same properties. Moreover, as usual, variables that cannot be bound can have a default value. This is the case in function g, for instance, that expect one object with properties a and b if b is missing, then its value, the value of variable b will be 7.